All right, so facelifts. One of the other procedures that I offer is facelift surgery. Um, face, the, the word facelift in itself is a misnomer because it gives the impression that the whole face is being treated. But actually the facelift surgery refers to the middle and the lower third of the face, rejuvenating the middle and the lower third of the face. In my practice, um, I would commonly get ladies in either their late 40s or 50s or 60s approaching me and requesting to have some you know, uh, surgical rejuvenation of the face. Now there are several facelift techniques have been described in the past and a host of surgeons use a variety of different techniques. Having studied uh, several different techniques over the last few years, I've come up with my own technique which I call the deep plane to sense facelift which essentially um, is elevating the soft tissues of the face as a composite. When I say composite, I'm talking skin and smas. Smas being the layer, the superficial muscular or system, the layer that surrounds the deeper structures of the face. So I elevate that in continuity with the face, uh, with the, in continuity with the skin, and then, and then you, know, uh, you know, lift it up and take off any excess tissues and use special stitches to provide an anchor this technique, the deep plane chemisense, comes with um, a few advantages. It, it's very good at erasing the deep creases on the face. It's very good at, um, um, you know, uh, you know, making the 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 cheeks a little bit more prominent than they would otherwise be. And also, it's a technique that works very well with those with a history of smoking, because smoking, as we all know, is bad for the skin. Um, I've done now uh, quite a few of these techniques and all in all the patients are very very happy with the outcome. Again, facelifting is a surgical procedure, comes with risks which include infection, bleeding, injury to the facial nerves, dissatisfaction with the outcome of the procedure and asymmetries. So maybe one side may look better than the other side. Patients are followed up again at one week six weeks, three months, six months, and a year. For more information, please visit the website at www.ivoguanesia.com.